The spouse in question is associated with the spooky occasion of Halloween. It is not the fault of those individuals. Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Join us for another enchanting journey into the world of royalty. Now, let's get to the video. You've come across the alleged photograph of Harry's wife and their two children. That has later received comments. In different types of media, including both popular and online platforms. Upon initial observation, it appears that this response was given by the speaker's wife in reaction to Catherine being referred to as a cherished member of the family. So, the king's snub, as I described in the video, harmed her significantly. And, consequently, her self-centeredness has compelled her to take action in order to redirect the focus onto herself, therefore neutralizing the potential harm caused by King Charles's remarks and allowing her to gain more attention. Surprisingly, the Daily Mail made mention of the photo without displaying it. Hello Magazine, they have provided their thoughts and opinions on the matter. In the article, it is stated that Prince Harry and his spouse were seen celebrating Halloween by taking their children, Archie and Lilibet, for a fun trick or treating activity. The Sussexes, also known as the Duke and Duchess, ventured out in the vicinity of their residence situated in Montesicchio. However, surprisingly, the brief article does not include any visual depiction of the actual location where the trick or treating has supposedly taken place. According to Elle magazine, Prince Harry and his wife were spotted taking their children, Lily and Archie, out for trick or treating in Monty Shit Show. However, once again, the photograph remains unseen. OK Magazine, IN California, Prince Harry and his wife enjoy taking their children, Archie, for a delightful trick or treating experience. However, the photo that is important is not displayed. The headline of Cosmopolitan is about Prince Harry and his wife going trick or treating with their children, which is incredibly heartwarming. Their small pumpkins have a delightful time during the festivities in Montesicchio. Cosmopolitan, in fact, features the photograph displayed at an event called at Royal Rota as Create an X account. Here is the visual representation. However, it is intriguing that numerous news sources discuss the rise of the image without actually presenting it themselves. In my opinion, this implies that these outlets question its origin. Surprisingly, the individual in the image appears quite different from the presumed spouse. The individual appears to have a slightly heavier build, not exactly in an overweight manner but proportionate to their own body. You may remember that towards the recent times, she has appeared extremely thin, whereas now she appears to have gained a little more weight. As I mentioned earlier, I am definitely not overweight, but there seems to be a noticeable difference. As usual, the recent photographs have consistently been captured from a rear perspective. Lilibet is not clearly visible, appearing as a vague pink shape, and it seems that she is unable to walk or may be throwing a tantrum and refusing to do so. The image raises questions about its authenticity due to the subject's obscured identity and the nature of the shot. In the past, certain photos have raised doubts about their authenticity, leading people to wonder if they were manipulated to appear in a specific situation rather than actually being present. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide whether or not you believe this photograph accurately portrays them. There seems to be the release of a photograph that is somewhat dubious. And undoubtedly, this action is being carried out to guarantee her possession of authority and sustenance. Could a narcissist stoop to the level of manipulating and sharing a picture that may not necessarily be them or altered to make them look better? The reason for such deceitful behavior is rooted in the narcissist's lack of emotional empathy. The narcissist behaves irresponsibly and exploits a feeling of entitlement to achieve their hidden objectives. There are numerous aspects that can be analyzed in connection to the picture. To smartly challenge the identity of the person who actually appears in it. This is not just an issue of lack of sharpness, upon a quick examination, it raises doubts whether this person is truly married to this individual. Moreover, the individual depicted in the photo could potentially be anyone bearing a resemblance to Harry. 
It's no surprise that a photo like this surfaces following King Charles's speech and his wife's continued displays of their affectionate life in America. In my perspective, it appears that they chose not to proceed with this action and instead opted for a fabricated family photograph that has been. These photos, allegedly captured by a random individual and sourced from a private Instagram account, have been skillfully assembled using Photoshop. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. And like I mentioned before, it is your decision to determine the truthfulness of this image. However, it wouldn't be shocking if this individual's spouse went to great lengths to create a deceptive family picture similar to the scenario described, only for it to be leaked by someone passing by and eventually featured in multiple newspapers. It is noteworthy that many magazines and newspapers refrain from displaying the photograph, which raises doubt about its authenticity. Typically, they would naturally demonstrate it to you. However, it wasn't only the Daily Mail that did not possess it. Sorry, I don't understand the original text provided. Can you please provide a clearer sentence or more context for me to paraphrase? She was without it. Perhaps they examined it and had doubts about whether it was truly them or if they could confirm their identity. However, the reality is. This picture has allegedly been circulated, aiming to grab attention just like before. Perhaps, another potential rationale could be that a small family pondered the question of what would be the most terrifying costume one could wear. Oh, let's wear outfits that resemble the Sussexes. Let's pretend to be Prince Harry and his wife, and we'll enlist two young children to join us. They have the potential to be named Archie and Lilibet. Perhaps someone else has chosen to dress up as them as a prank for Halloween. The image's blurriness and sketchiness are adequate to cast doubt on its accuracy. Additionally, when confronted with a narcissist, it is consistently evident that a significant portion of her actions are questionable. You will notice numerous renowned individuals participating in trick or treating, captured in a clear and sharply focused image from the frontal perspective. This is not merely a random image of an individual strolling along the street. Hence, it begs the question whether someone passing by would actually capture such an image, considering that most people would typically opt to photograph them head-on, as I previously discussed in another video. In addition, why would that person choose to disclose it? It appears much more plausible that due to the urgency of neutralizing the control threat posed by the disparaging remarks about Catherine, her rival, and the need for attention and validation, she is compelled to create a fabricated image that is subsequently distributed to multiple news outlets, generating widespread discussion and thus. However, due to the lingering doubt and disapproval towards this person's wife, as is customary, there exists a multitude of individuals who view the situation with suspicion. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.